Um, you can only pick one. What's better, beating Cesar or winning week one? Winning week one is huge because if any coach tells you it's not, they're, they're, they're lying because as bad as you hate to think, well, we've worked for 12 months and we can get them next week. Half the teams in the state are 1-0 and or 0-1. And, and for high school kids, that's a tough thing to overcome. But winning week one is important. And for this week, it was us. It was Sesser. And that was the most important game because that was what was on our schedule next. Um, and it's been well documented that we haven't had any success against Sesser. And I was real proud of our team on how they came out early and played well uh, and really got them behind the eight ball there. Um, feel like you got a monkey off your back? Uh, you know, that's an important game because it's the first game on our schedule. You know what I mean? And it's the one right now. And we got a 24-hour rule. We're going to enjoy it for 24 hours, and then we'll turn the page and be ready for week two. Just talk about Brax or Dylan's performance tonight. I mean, I think over 162 yards. He just runs reckless, and he has for three years, you know. And, and, and he played well defensively, too, is what a lot of people don't realize. I was really proud of him, maybe more so defensively, what he did, rushing the passer and doing some stuff. But Dylan runs hard. Uh, we got a nice little uh, offensive attack with a couple different running backs. We can throw the ball. We struggled doing it tonight. But the other thing is we didn't need to do it tonight to a certain degree because we got up on them early. But I thought all our halfbacks ran hard and the O-line, you know, it starts and ends with your O-line and D-line. And when you're able to score 40 points and give up zero, all the credit goes to the O-line and the D-line.